journey. What a journey. Yeah. From a walk-on at USC to an assistant head coach in the NFL. Tell me about that. Isn't that amazing? God is good, isn't he? And uh, it's been amazing. I've been, this is our 15th year together with Coach Carroll. And uh, as a coach, I, I can't believe how much time has gone by. And uh, it's been amazing. It's been a lot of learning going on. And uh, God just kept opening up door after door. And uh, it's, been, it's been a privilege to be here. And, and first Asian American coach in the NFL. Is that right? I don't know that. Okay. I don't know that. Okay. I don't know that. Uh, is, is that because it is a, a little bit unique in the NFL, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. a little yeah. unique. Yeah, I've noticed that too a little bit. And uh, <laughs> you know, it just goes to show, you know, the, how uh, a little story here with uh, how Coach and I got started together was um, it was like this. My wife's here, and who happened who happened to grow up in Bellevue, so she's a Northwest girl, and uh, we met at the University of Southern California, and. Uh, one of the funny stories, well, I, was a, I walked on at USC, like you said, and then I started coaching right after that. And then I, 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 was, I started off with Coach Paul Hackett, and then Coach Carroll comes in as one of the candidates to take over, okay? And there was a bunch of guys, you know, like Bellotti and uh, Coach Riley and all these different names at the time, and, uh, and we just got let go, you know, our staff. And I was like, man, my career is over before it started, right? I was just a volunteer coach. And then and I, at the time, I was dating my wife, and uh, she said, why don't we go to check out this volleyball game? You know, my, you know her roommate was playing for, for the Trojans, and I said, I don't know. But, you know, at the time, like, this is the best thing I got going with my girlfriend, so I'm going to go with her. So I went, and <laughs> <laughs> so I went, and sure enough, I started having a good time. And then I looked behind me. And then I see Coach Carroll sitting right behind me. I say, wow, how's it, Coach? And then I just introduced myself to, uh, to him, and then I just say, hey, good luck to you. And then, uh, and then maybe a week later, he's getting introduced as the head coach. And my first job under coach, or with, with, unofficially, was to go to the airport with one of the ADs at the LAX Marriott. I still remember. And my job was to go pick up his car and follow him back to campus and from there, it's been 15 years later, here we are, so it's been amazing, yeah. Yeah. That's a great journey there that's, that you've had. Uh, I read a quote from Coach Carroll when he was talking about you. He called you the keeper of the records, <laughs> and that sounded a little mysterious to me, so I wanted to know, what does that mean? Because <laughs> I know how much he trusts you. And, and tell me a little bit about what that means and what the dynamic and the relationship is like. Well, I, I tell you, uh, in some ways, you know, um, Coach has been a monster for me in my, in my coaching career. I mean, he, he's, 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 been, he's really mentored me and grown me to be a football coach. And uh, so a lot of the stuff I've learned is mostly from him. And essentially, basically, I just act as a reminder for him maybe. And, uh, you know, not that he needs much reminding, but I'm just there as a sounding board with it for him. And... I like to think I could serve coach in that way. Let's talk a little bit about your defense. Yeah. Most punishing, bruising defense in the NFL. And a lot of transition in, in the coaching staff with this yeah. defense. Uh, is the defense pretty simple? Because I have always gotten the sense that it's more about technique than anything. Is it a pretty simple defense? Yeah, well, when, I say, when we say simple, there's two different approaches. You know, you could do a lot of stuff. Okay, and kind of confuse the offense and do a lot of different things, or you could do, you could do what we do and master it. And and just kind of give you a perspective. Coaching in college, you're defending. One week you're playing Stanford with a, like kind of a professional pro eye type of thing, and then then you're playing Oregon the next week, and then next week you're playing uh, Washington State with all the spread stuff, and it, it's never the same. Okay, so in in the pros, I think what it is is we, we got to zero down and be good at what we do and know who we are. So that's where we really uh, take a lot of work in trying to uh, uh, know our techniques and really master our job. And I think that's where we come to. And it started off with, uh, you know, Coach Bradley was here earlier, and then um, we narrowed it down with him. And then when Coach DQ came in, we got it really even honed in even more. And I don't see it changing too much, quite frankly. Well, one thing that I think is, is illustrated by what you're talking about is that rotating fourth position in the Legion of Boom. You know, we got guys like Browner gets a big contract. Thurman gets a big contract. Maxwell, huge contract. It seems like you just make superstars with the players that you plug in to that fourth position. How does that work? 
Well, it's been amazing, you know, because just like uh, Coach Cable talked about, we look for a certain type of player, and Coach Carroll and Coach, uh, John Schneider, and really it starts off with like uh, we have a certain profile, and then Coach Richard and, and the other defensive back coaches work them, and then and the competition within the group kind of fosters itself, and then before you know it, one guy goes down, the next guy comes up, and like if, it's an interesting story. Uh, when Richard Sherman played, wow, was that 2011? I think 2011, he may have been like the fourth corner, fourth or fifth corner. You know, this guy went down, another guy went down, next thing you know, he's never left the lineup. You know, so it's been, it's, it's kind of the next guy waiting for his next opportunity, and, uh, and each guy is taking full advantage of it. It's been pretty neat to see. One thing that uh, you're very well known for is uh, everywhere I go around football, everybody I talk to, they talk about the tackling technique that you have in so many ways innovated and I know that your, your tackling video, which you're gonna show the fans in just a moment here, is, has, has become the gold standard in the NFL. Tell me about the evolution of that and where it is right well, now. Well, before I'm gonna start on that, I think, okay, this is give you a little insight, this is my humble opinion, I think this is gonna be Coach, one of Coach Carroll's biggest contributions to the game. And what I mean by that is, Every year, someone's going to win or lose, right? I mean, that's just how the game is set up. But we all love this game, and we want this game to keep going, right? And um, so with how we've designed it under the leadership of Coach Carroll, this is something we've been working at at USC and trying to uh, minimize our head contact as defensive players, caring about the health of our defensive players, but at the same time, making the game, keeping the game tough and physical still. And, and um, so it's been a privilege to be even part of it. And all the coaches do a great job of teaching the fundamentals and the principles that we talk about. We talk about this almost daily with our guys. Yeah. 